Look at this. Imagine if you lived here, you'd have literally a beautiful view of the ocean with this incredible mansion. Whoa. Oh, it literally just goes into here. Oh. There's literally like two people coming in. I'm not quite sure. Oh, they never found me. What the hell? I'm not gonna lie, I do not feel good in here. There's something very, very unsettling. Oh my. Crazy. Ah! Well, it's been uh, four years now since I've been here, and uh, it looks like the place has been completely destroyed. Wow. This is incredible. Um, it's still a really, really cool building, and there is a little bit of a haunted rumor, apparently. So, first of all, we are currently in what's known as Japan's Abandoned Billionaire Mansion. There was a guy who used to own this house. There's actually three separate buildings. One's a guest house, and there's actually another building that I didn't even know existed the very first time I came here. So, uh, I absolutely had to come back and document what it looks like now, and it is like completely different from when I came here the first time. I will probably include some of the footage from that time four years ago. Uh, I can assure you that the camera quality is nowhere near as good as this camera. Um, so it is what it is. That's the footage that I have available. Um, but yeah, basically there was a billionaire here in Japan who owned this property and uh, he got arrested for tax evasion. He's been in jail ever since and obviously his property here has been left completely abandoned. Uh, at one point there was everything left behind in here. There are still a bunch of really cool looking statues down there that you guys will get to see. Um, yeah, so he's still in jail. He was an old man to begin with. I don't think he's getting out of jail, but there is a story, a little bit of a spooky, possibly haunted story. Now, I spoke to somebody who is from here who basically told me that they came ghost hunting. For some reason, they decided to do it here. And um, when they did that, they were getting some names and they found out that there was the potential that the person who owned this was connected to the Yakuza, which is basically the mob here, and potentially murdered people in this complex. Like I said, there are three buildings. We're gonna first explore all of them. Um, and then once the sun goes down, we will come back and we will probably do a little bit of ghost hunting just to see what happens. But uh, yeah, there are a couple of people in here. Uh, I was a little bit spooked out because I came in and I'm like, oh, I hear something. But it's just a couple of girls, just locals, exploring, taking some pictures. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. Smash the like button and uh, let's get this party started. This place is definitely one of the coolest adventures I've ever done at an abandoned place. Just like this area right here. Like, my god. I would love to have this in my house. Maybe not this, because, I mean, it would be cool like if I had like a fake one, but like to kill a tiger and stuff it like this, it's kind of uh, a little bit disturbing, but like this fucking setup right here is insane. Like, this is crazy. Oh yeah, here's the print. So there used to be like, it looks like a, it might have been like a bear or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and somebody came and jacked it. Bastards. So first things first, starting out over here, as you can see, quite literally everything's been just like decimated. All of the statues that used to be here are destroyed. One of the legs is literally on the floor. This desk is relatively intact. We got whatever this used to be. Part of some furniture. There used to be statues all in this room. Like every ledge had a statue. And they're pretty much all gone now. There is something cool upstairs that's still here. Surprisingly. The hell was that? Must be a lot of debris up there. There's this one little statue here. Not much left to it. <laughs> it's been beheaded. Somebody had uh, McDonald's, apparently. 
There are some statues outside that you can see. Damn. Now it's crazy because I always heard that here in Japan, they don't really destroy abandoned places, but I guess this uh, location here says otherwise. Big pile of trash all over the floor. So I think uh, Steve Ronan said he was here not too long ago, but he did warn me that this place is not what it used to be. Let's go down here, take a look at all these statues. Damn, look at all this. <laughs> this one has a shirt. That wasn't there before. Almost tripped. Oh crap. Wow. It's kind of sad. Hi. crazy too because there's now looks like there's multiple entrance ways into this place the first time coming here there was pretty much only one this is cool though really really cool entrance way I don't really understand why all these statues have just been placed here There's like a little fountain area here. I don't know if I ever noticed this last time. I probably didn't. That's nice. Giant rock. Pretty cool. There's a good doorway. Oh, that's not a doorway. These are all just mirrors. Wow. <laughs> that is very deceiving. This desk has been completely destroyed. The place is clearly starting to decay and mold too. Wow, look at all this. All right. There's a lot more uh, graffiti and not the nice kind either. I don't know what this is. What is this? Like a bear or something? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I remember there was a lot of taxidermy in this place. Oh my god. <laughs> the nips. <laughs> That's funny. Yep, all gone to waste for the most part. I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out what the heck this is, or was. I cannot tell for the life of me. If you guys have an idea, let me know down in the comments below. Let's go through some other areas. See what else is left in this place. Just the before and afters in here are going to be crazy. All the windows there have all been smashed. Those were not like that. I don't even remember that board being there, but I could be mistaken. There's a cool pool table over here. These are all destroyed. More statues outside. They are beautiful. <laughs> Some of them are still plastic wrapped. They must be brand new. Probably worth a fortune. 
There's a whole bunch out there. Everything in here looks so uh, detailed. I'm trying to see what's in here. I remember there was like kind of weird passageways, kind of like that one. Uh, I don't know what's up there. There might actually be another way up there because these stairs are uh, in really, really bad shape. So gotta be kind of careful in here. I could actually just hop up, I think. This uh, moment, Ugh, these stairs are uh, these stairs are gonna collapse eventually. Oh, this is actually where I started. Okay, <laughs> I actually came in here first. I haven't filmed any of it yet, but there was some other people in here. I don't know where they went, but for the most part, like it's pretty safe in Japan, going just about anywhere. There we go, we got the rest of the uh, art collection down here. This is insane. Appears to be a basement, which we'll check that out after. Like, look at all of this. <laughs> Holy crap. Tons of stuff everywhere. It's like a bed over here. Or maybe this was the guest house? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I'd like, who, who knows, man? Really, when it comes to rich people, who knows? <laughs> this statue is really cool. Wow. The stuff in here is just incredible, though. Like, really, like, this stuff must be worth millions, easily. The sheer amount of stuff in here, that one's cool too. Okay, let's go down here and check out all these statues. Holy moly. Also, I just realized I did film all of this area, so we're gonna just do a spin a -rooney and I guess head on up this way. Stairs are really cool still. Got another broken statue. Oh, this is actually where I came in from. And then I heard people downstairs, so I kind of wanted to see who they were. Look at this. You got a, a butt and a foot. <laughs> Just kind of built right into the wall. Statues. Chandeliers are still here. I remember there being a whole dining room setup and there's also this taxidermy over here this tiger that's pretty cool there's that area which has been completely decimated at this point More broken windows apparently this uh became an ashtray clearly people come and hang out here quite often I just noticed that there was also this leg. <laughs> Some more uh, odd looking contemporary art. Not who, sure who created that. At this one random room. Ugh. So much glass everywhere. Ugh. Kind of a tight squeeze through there. But yeah. Not much left. It's crazy that this happened though. Like half the stuff in here is missing. Like, like I said, there are two other buildings, so there might still be quite a bit of stuff left in those. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but based on what happened here, it's not looking good for the other ones either, to be honest. 
but uh, we'll see once we get there. But yeah, like a lot of the stuff that used to be in here is all gone. It's uh, either been stolen or smashed or destroyed. Well, I've definitely located the uh, dining room table. <laughs> What's left of it though? Holy moly. Damn. Now that's a beautiful piece. More art in the walls. Seems like a whole bunch of the slats all have uh, random art. I'm actually surprised this one's not completely destroyed like everything else. I got this thing on this side. What is that? Kind of looks like a bird. Oh, what's left of a bird? It looks uh, like it's been plucked. Damn. So this is uh, what it looks like from the outside. It's a beautiful building. Um, there is like a building to the side of this somewhere that Steve was telling, telling me about. So that's what I'm going to go and try and find. Uh, I'm not really too sure what the best method of getting there is, but we will figure it out. So it might actually be up this way. It looks like there's a bit of a walkway, so... Looks like this might actually be right. Oh, heard something moving out there. Oh, we're on a bit of an adventure. Um, what the hell is that? Damn, whatever that was sounded big. <laughs> it's probably like a deer or something, but uh, yeah, it's a little disappointing, the uh, condition of this place. Um, definitely nowhere near what it used to look like, but I mean, it is what it is. It's a cool explore. Then we'll get to come back hopefully later on and uh, see if the place is in fact haunted or not. I honestly don't know. It's just kind of what I heard from other people over here. Um, but I do know that here in Japan, uh, urban exploring or abandoned locations is becoming more popular. I think it's called Haikyo, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there are a few places that I want to go and visit some of them are a little bit complex to get to so we might end up leaving the country and then at some point coming back with Steve Ronan getting a car and then hopefully driving to a lot more locations so I kind of came through the bush and I uh, noticed this <laughs> just one random statue there's this so this looks like it probably would have been like a garden at one point but uh, I know there's like a super secret entrance somewhere into the next building. I'm just trying to figure out exactly where that is. Um, looks like there's something over here. We've got to be extra cautious though because we don't want to go falling through anything. Okay, so I can see a roof. Ugh. Clearly, there is something here. Uh, I heard something. Sounded like a snake or something. Uh, but okay. Let's try and figure this out. There's another statue literally right there. What the heck? There's so much going on in this place. So it looks like I'm going to have to most likely go around. I think I might have actually done this other building before. Um, just trying to figure out how to get down there. It's very weird. Very, very weird setup. Makes no sense. So we got another building. It looks like storage or something over here. Yeah, there's definitely a whole bunch of stuff in here. Wow. That's crazy. At least over here, this stuff hasn't been destroyed yet. Maybe people don't know this building's even here. But uh, we're getting closer to another one, so... Okay, I think we've uh, located where this other thing is. Damn, dude, there's literally an entire other building. Whoa, that's pretty crazy, actually. Whoa, look at the view. That is incredible. Damn, 
How beautiful is that? Wow. Just take that in. Damn, dude. This is friggin' amazing. Wow. Look at this. Imagine if you lived here, you'd have literally a beautiful view of the ocean with this incredible mansion. It's now been totally smashed because it's been abandoned for a long time, but wow. Holy crap. All right, let's uh, head on inside, I suppose. All right, well, I'm not gonna lie. I stopped for a second just to enjoy the view, but uh, let's head on inside. Oh, wow. There's actually quite a bit left in here, to be honest. It's a lot of destruction. Windows have been uh, destroyed. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, but a lot of stuff is still here. Some couches. Some statues that haven't been completely destroyed yet. It kind of looks like there's a bunch of different passageways too, but... Oh, look at these. I'm telling you guys, these statues must be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And they've been destroyed. Look at this. Some person drew a, a beard and mustache on this one. And of course the nips as well. Never forget the nips. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of different levels. And I 100% did not do this area the first time. Shout out to Steve Ronan for letting me know that it was here. Oh, Whoa, almost tripped. Damn. Look, even look at the staircase. Like that's amazing. The fact that the statue is just attached to it like that. Thought I heard something. Hello? Konnichiwa? Sound like someone spoke. Kinda sounded like it came from up there. I don't know if anybody's here. Damn. This floor is uh, pretty destroyed. Another statue here. Clearly this guy really liked his mirrors and reflecty stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Wow. Can't lie though, it's very, uh, very well lit up. There's like a giant hole in the floor over there. Feels like over here was almost uh, unfinished. What is this? There's something like on the floor here. Okay, I might not be alone. This looks like an unfinished bathroom. Maybe it was finished and people just came in and tore it all up for some odd reason. Another flight of stairs. It looks like it uh, doesn't really lead anywhere. Wow. What's back there? Just want to make sure I don't uh, miss anything. Oh, not much. Looks like a, an old furnace that uh, people have stripped. All right, let's, uh, I guess, go upstairs. I have to walk to the back of the room here because I almost didn't even see it because everything's so shiny, but it uh, looks like there was a bathroom here. You could see where the uh, the imprints were. Oh, that's glass. Oh my god. 
that literally looked like another room that <laughs> that confused the hell out of me but yeah you got the bathtub here kind of overlooking the ocean if they didn't build that part it would have been perfect but uh okay now we're gonna head on upstairs okay time to head on up i love these these are cool got more uh mirrors tons of mirrors just everywhere Well, it looks like there's a lot more destruction up here, too. More statues. Oh, wow, look at that one down there. That's beautiful. The furniture and pieces in here are just incredible. Wow, look at that. A giant clock. And it's surprisingly not destroyed. Wow, that is an absolutely beautiful piece. I'm actually glad it's not destroyed. That's really random how they did the uh, spray paint like all around that. I'm not sure what this thing was from. Or that. Look at that view though. That was just gorgeous. Cool. All right, well, I think that's it for up here. Uh, actually, no, there's a spot back there, but again, it kind of looks like it's just been torn up. I love the floor. The floor pattern is really cool. Let's see what we got in here looks like a just what was a bathroom I guess I don't even really know maybe a sauna who knows but okay let's go downstairs I'll probably run the spirit talker before I leave this building because it seems like I'm hearing something in here. Nothing now. I'll go check. Creepy. It sounded like something was moving around, walking. There's actually an area back there. I didn't look at that yet. I don't know where this goes, but... Oh, there's like a slipper over here. What the heck? <laughs> Where does this go? What the heck? What is back here? Just looks like a bunch of random stuff. Mostly trash here. Yeah. in there though yeah definitely a bathroom and it goes up to this area I swear I'm hearing something but I can't tell where it's coming from 
Can't tell if it's inside or outside or what the deal is. I just heard what sounded like somebody stepping in glass. But I'm not seeing anybody. I think if somebody was here, I would have probably seen them by now. Okay, whatever, I'm gonna just go down into this, whatever this basement is down there, and uh, see what's up. Okay, this is actually uh, pretty freaking cool. I don't think I've ever actually been in a building like this before. Not a house, anyways. With like this crazy spiral staircase. Oh, it smells musty down here. Probably uh, is pretty musty. Oh, okay. It's not quite a basement. Whoa, there's like a whole other level. Holy moly. <laughs> Old fireplace. More statues. This is just statue upon statue upon statue. <laughs> This place is so cool though. There's nothing quite like this particular location. Probably anywhere in the world, really. I mean, it used to be a lot better, but uh, it's still pretty cool to see, even though it's been pretty well destroyed. But yeah, look at that chandelier. That's a really cool piece. You don't see stuff like that every day. That must have cost a fortune. This whole frickin' property and complex must have cost a fortune. No joke. Alright, let's see what's uh, on the other side. What is that? I heard something, but... It looks like somebody's been squatting in here. I mean, based on that. I mean, not a terrible place to come if you're homeless, I suppose. It's kind of weird how there's like random indents, but they don't actually lead to anything. Bunch of trash in there. One little sofa and that's pretty much it for this building. Somebody spray painted a mask on the lion thing over here. This probably would have been for, actually that's probably what they did. They probably used that one space for like a, a statue. That's kind of what I'm imagining. Huh. One thing that's pretty crazy is that there's all of these like rafter looking things and I'm pretty sure these were walkways just to make it easier to get from one building to the other um, but it looks like I don't know if they were glass pane but I think some other sides have completed ones for some reason here they're just all broken. I also just noticed this there's like this walkway into something I don't know what but I'm gonna actually go in there I want to see what that is. So there are some other people here that weren't here before because um, they just literally walked in. I don't know where this tunnel goes. Whoa. Oh, it literally just goes into here. Oh, Jesus, what the heck was that? I don't know what they're doing up there. Yeah, there's like an entire little kitchen back here. Didn't even know this existed, but it basically just goes to where I was. Nothing new, really. Oh, damn, these people are smashing stuff. Hang on, let's see if we can hear them again. They probably think I'm gone. Why do people feel the need to smash things, especially when they're beautiful like this? Where are they exactly? Plus, I don't know what that popping noise is. 
It's not raining. Yeah, they're clearly breaking stuff. Vandals. I hate vandals. It drives me crazy. But yeah, I don't know what that popping noise is. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but okay, let's uh, let's turn this around. So, like I said, there is actually a third building, which I'm going to head to now. I'm really glad that the sun came out because it was cool earlier, but then it started to really warm up, and then I started sweating, and then just... <sighs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to head over to the last building. I think it's the last building. You never know. At this point, we might find something else. Um, but yeah, and then after that, I'm pretty much going to hang around for a while until the sun goes down and uh, basically come back and do a little bit of an investigation and see what happens. Well, apparently this thing has become quite the hot spot because somebody's in there. I just saw them at the top of those stairs over there. Also, what happened to the stairs? <laughs> oh, man. And uh, somebody destroyed the Buddha over here. There's these other two beautiful-looking statues. All right, let's uh, head on in, I suppose. So this is a, a, the guest house, from what I remember. It's probably also super destroyed, but whatever, I guess. I guess our way in is this random makeshift ladder. I don't even know if it's actually a ladder, but let's just hope it doesn't buckle under my weight. Okay. Ooh, let's just do this slowly enough so we don't fall. It's kind of awkward because of my second bag, but we made it. I don't know if these guys just heard me, but... Oh wow, this place has been uh, completely ransacked. Not much left. There was just all these people in here, but they're all leaving. Hi, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> There's a couple things left, but... Oh wow. There's that table from what I remember. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi. <laughs> Good. How are you? Good. Um, my name is Dinoski. Sorry? Dinoski. Uh, Dinoski. Yes. Ah. Nice An to meet you. Angelo. Well, nice, Angelo. To meet nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> From Canada. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. Cool place. Oh. Very yeah. nice. All right. Well, they all seem nice. Um, yeah. So anyway, I remember this table, but it was not like this the first time. Damn. What is up here? There's all this stuff over the floor. Oh, the kitchen. It's all falling apart. I yeah, have to make this a little bit brighter. Oh, this is just an exit. Not really much going on over here. So I was just talking with uh, all of those guys. It's actually their first time here and I was actually showing them my first video from four years ago. From what I remember, there actually used to be a bed right in this one area. It's obviously gone now. Um, I don't know who steals a bed <laughs> of all things, but yeah, now there's this random table here. Apart from that, there's really not much left in this building. It's a few statues here and there. We've got a freaking mouse painted on the window. <laughs> but yeah, this is... Uh... This is what's left. Not a whole lot. This is the uh, the urbex spot right here. I'm guessing this is where everyone comes to take their photos. Let's uh, go back downstairs. Um, take a little bit of a better look down there. Although it seems like pretty much everything is toast. Very disappointing though. But uh, documenting the before and after is uh, kind of interesting. All right. Let's see what's down here. What the heck is that? There's something on the ground there. I don't even know what that is. I don't think I really want to know. 
got a bunch of furniture here. Another sofa. What's in here? Oh. oh, okay, I was mistaken. So the bed is there. It's just down on this floor. Okay, that makes uh, a little bit more sense now. <laughs> Damn, dude. Wow. Yeah, this place got, uh, this place got f***ed up. Damn. Beautiful cabinet. There's a bunch of clothes everywhere. I wonder if that was like the billionaire's clothing or from someone else. Bathroom back here. I'm gonna have to walk on the mattress. Holy crap. Damn, dude. Ugh, there's like all sorts of weird, nasty stuff everywhere. There's the uh, toilet right there. That's pretty much it, it looks like. Um, yeah. She's, uh, she's done. She's toast. <laughs> what the f***? There's like random people with like hard hats and shit coming in. What the f*** is going on here? There's literally like two people coming in. Damn. Oh, there's like a dojo area back here. I forgot about this. Wow. Yeah, there's literally just random workers coming through. I think I should probably head out. Yeah, let's go. I don't know who the f these guys are, but I'm gonna make my grand escape <laughs> at this point. They look like workers though. Workers for what? I have no idea. So, uh, funny enough, I ended up taking these kids to see this other building over here that we were just at. At this point, I'm pretty much done with the Explorer. Um, we're gonna probably come back later and uh, essentially find out if this place is actually haunted or not. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find, hopefully, a restaurant nearby, because I am getting really hungry. Um, but yeah, we will most likely be back unless plans change later on. But this was a really, really cool Explorer. Definitely had to do this again. All right, guys, it is now much later and much darker in the evening. Um, I have made it to the entrance of the second last building that I did when I was over here. Um, basically, I didn't end up going anywhere. I was originally thinking maybe I'll go back down to town, grab something to eat. But honestly, it would have just taken too long, too much of a waste of time. So I hung out at one of the near hotels, nearby hotels, rather, um, had a beer, and that was pretty much it. Now I'm ready to go back in. I'm going to actually get the Spirit Talker running right away as I'm going in there. And just whatever was here, let it communicate directly with me. Obviously, I'm going to let it know to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, this is kind of creepy. I've never done anything like this myself alone in Japan before. This is the very, very first time. But uh, yeah, enjoy the adventure. I am about to... Nora. Nora? We already got a name. So I let the spirits know to communicate with me using this device and it immediately, as soon as I hit... Being followed. What the hell? It said no I won't. Now it's telling me I'm being followed. Okay. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Why is this thing going crazy already? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay, you want to calm down for a second and at least let me get in here first? I think it was this way. Is there somebody in there? Hang on a second. I don't know if I'm seeing the lights off in the distance. The child wants help. What the hell? The child wants help? What is there a child doing here? This is very eerie. Okay, we definitely can't go that way. <laughs> that would be uh, very unpleasant. Let's be very careful 
of where we walk. My name is Angelo. What's your name? Damn, dude, this is really, really scary. She's coming. Who's coming? David. David? I swear I just heard something move in there. Is there someone in there? I mean, I haven't been in here yet. So there could be someone here. We got David. I'm not quite they sure. Never found me. Oh, they never found me. What the hell? So there are rumors. Let's uh, head on inside and I'll explain this a little bit better. But, uh. Okay, I don't think I've ever had that response before. Run away. Dude, this is eerie as all hell. Oh my gosh. Especially with the fact that somebody could be staying in here. But, uh. Oh my god, that statue up there just scared the living. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, calm down, Angelo, calm down. You're okay. Um, so basically, the story goes, first off, this entire complex, there are three buildings. I may end up only doing two for this segment, just for the haunted aspect, but basically- You're okay here. You just told me to run away. Now you're telling me I'm okay? My name is Ethel. So anyways, as I was trying to explain, Basically, this complex was once owned. I don't know if it still is owned. It's kind of strange. And I'll explain why it's strange in a second because, whoa, I just got a weird gust of cold air. Like, I know everything's open. There's, like, virtually no windows left in this dang place. But, uh, essentially, something's moving around. Um, essentially, this place was owned by a billionaire. The billionaire has been in jail for several years basically got caught for tax evasion. Now the story goes, from what we heard, from what I've heard from locals, is that the guy may have been connected to Yakuza, and there are rumors that they killed people on this property. What they did with the bodies after? What the f was that? Something just told me to sit. Turn this up a little bit, so y'all can see. <clears throat> Oh, damn. That was just me. But, uh... It's time to leave. Whoa, it's time to leave. Why is it time to leave? This thing is just going crazy. I don't usually get this. Planning. Um, unless it's a very, very... Location. Dude, something really weird is going on. I, I'm getting this intense and anxiety feeling. So it's interesting because one of the first responses we just got was they never found me. Is there somebody here with me? I feel like I'm being watched. I just heard something move in this direction. Oh, that statue just scared the bejeebers out of me again. Okay, well, I'm gonna go upstairs. <sighs> I accidentally closed the app, so we'll have to get that running again, but we're getting some good responses so far. Okay, what in the heck was that? There could be somebody in here. Where are you? Cancer. Cancer? Did someone... Okay, why are the responses just... Anxiety. Dude, I said anxiety. I worked here. Oh. What the f Investigator. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm gonna Once. just... Let it speak for a minute. Set. 
Why are you upset? We can whisper. Okay. Feel free to whisper to me if you need to tell me something. The bad man is here. Who's the bad man? Emma. No, Emma's not the bad man. House. This is a house. Were you murdered here in this house? Daughter. What the hell? I swear I just saw something. Okay, was that just the shadow from the statue or did I just see something peeking out? Okay, that might have just been the shadow from the statue, holy crap. Where are you? Tell me where you are. What if I go up one more floor? Is that okay? Leg, what? What do you mean by leg? Did they do something to your leg? That was just me accidentally kicking things. Can you explain what you mean by leg? Why did it just stop all of a sudden? Did it turn off again? Oh, no, there we go. What the hell? Now it said head? Fresh. What do you mean by that? What's fresh? Did they do something to your head? Heard something. I don't I know. Won't lie to you. Well, that's appreciated. I'm not gonna lie, I do not feel good in here. There is something very, very unsettling. Aggressive. Oh, oh my. What's aggressive? Damn, look at all this freaking glass. Holy Our crap. Remains. Where are your remains? Are they on the property? Lies. Whoa. There's some thick glass. What do you mean by us? Eliminate. Okay, something just banged on something over there. What the f Hang on, let me switch hands here for a second. Are you talking? You're, you're actually saying quite a bit. Keep talking to me, please. Yes. Whatever that was, can you do that again? Something just moved right to the left of that. Do you believe in us? Whoa. Uh, yeah. After what you literally just did. Oh my God. I just literally thought I saw somebody standing directly behind me. This is a bit unsettling. Something really weird is going on in here. I don't I don't know why, but I don't feel good about this one. <sighs> Guys, there is no one here. I 
and something just hit this cabinet. Grandfather. Grandfather. Something just moved. What was that? What the f was that? Whoa! Something literally just pulled my leg. And I'm not pulling your leg, guys. What the f was that? Oh, dude. I don't think I've ever experienced that before. That literally felt as if a hand grabbed right around my ankle for a second and pulled it really quickly back. What the hell did that? Okay, I didn't like that. <gasps> okay, that might have just been the traffic from downstairs, but it also kind of sounded like somebody pulled up. Gotta be very careful because there are no windows. That actually sounded like it was directly down there, but I can't, I don't see anybody. I'm in the trees. Okay. I am on some serious edge right now. I think I'm gonna go back downstairs for a second. Holy oh, man, I'm not gonna lie, uh, that was getting a little too freaky up there. Something literally pulled my leg super aggressively. It also said that, I realized when I checked the uh, list of words that it had just... Hello? Konnichiwa? Something moved. Okay, well, clearly whatever is in here is obviously aggressive. Uh, something just moved in there now. What was that? Something is moving in here. Sounds like it's coming from here. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna head downstairs because I th think I might exit this building. Maybe do the other building. I don't have too much time tonight before uh, I gotta head back to the hotel just because the buses here run kind of weirdly and they do end <laughs> and I don't want to have to hike an hour and 20 minutes back plus I gotta get something to eat. Sounded almost like something was thrown. Making sure there's no one here because during the day there was like a billion people coming in and out of this place constantly. I also just noticed they put a bunch of cigarettes on this statue. I don't remember seeing that earlier either. It's honestly kind of funny. But uh, 
yeah, I kind of want to move along to the next building. Um, the statue is crazy. Oh my god, they even put one in the uh, the goat's mouth. That's funny as shit. Okay, let's uh, get out of here and move along to the other building. Okay. Okay, something was just on my hand, but what the hell? So I was just leaving. The house is literally right there. Uh, but it just felt as if someone was pulling me back. What the hell? Like as if something grabbed my bag and pulled it. Okay, let's let's keep uh, keep it moving. Okay, well there's the exit. Now we'll uh, make our way back to the other building. Damn, this place is creepy. Look at this hand. What the hell? Why did somebody put that there? Okay, we're about to wait, make our way back into this part of the complex. It's kind of weird seeing that. The fact that people have like mansion complexes like this. Okay. We are back. Back in business, baby. Thought I heard something move. It sounded like it was from downstairs. I'm just gonna make sure no one's here. It appears no one comes here at night. Deciphered that much so far. Hello? Also, if you guys see anything that I don't notice, let me know. Damn, dude. This place is on a whole other level. It's like fine during the day, but all of a sudden you come during the night and it's pretty freaky. Damn. A lot of statues. For a second I thought somebody pulled up. Okay, I think we're okay. <laughs> Been hearing some creepy, uh, not creepy, but crazy stories about people having issues doing some of the abandoned locations here in Japan. Oh, I didn't even notice these earlier. What the heck is that? Oh man, all the little statues are pretty broken up. Pretty destroyed. Okay, well, we made it. I'll get the uh, spirit talker going again. And uh, see if we can get some more responses. This thing was going haywire in that other building. I want to see if the result here might be similar. All right, well, I'm in here now, spirits. Use this again to talk with me. Or if you want to move something. Take a minute. I had to go a little bit light today. Um, just because I had to do a massive hike just to get here. It took me about an hour and 20 minutes on foot. It's not too crazy. I've done worse. Um, weird, all of a sudden we come in here and nothing. Not a single response. Is there anything in this building? Anything at all? Hopefully you can understand my language. What is that? Sound like walking. Was someone just walking in here? I mean, you know harm. I 
I hear something pretty terrible happened scary. in here. Scary. Are you scared? Am I scary to you? I do apologize if I'm making you a little bit nervous or anxious. I'm kind of feeling that way too. What the hell was that? I just heard something above me. Where was that? It's like a couple subtle knocks. So far not as crazy in this building. Let's, uh, let's go down a bit. Just turn my light up a little bit more so I can see better. I keep hearing something above me. As if someone is moving around up there though. Okay, I don't know. Let's see, maybe in this area? I can't believe it though. Just one single response. Do you have nothing else? Talking. Whoa. Do you want me to stop talking? I still cannot believe how destroyed this place has gotten. Wow. Kind of surprising no one's uh, stolen this yet. Well, I guess it's all ruined anyway. Well, I'm gonna leave soon if you don't want to talk to me. I think you've uh, kind of proved your point a little bit. Are you upstairs? Do you want to come back up there? Or maybe you're down that direction? just heard something above me. What is that? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. What do you What do you mean? Okay, I'm gonna come back upstairs and see if you want to talk a little more. I just heard something like ping. What's all this like hair from? Fish. Something was just moving back here. Weirdly enough, it sounded like curtains moving in the wind, but there aren't any. I'm beside you. Oh, what the hell? Where beside me are you? I'm not gonna lie, all of a sudden it just got really cold in this one room. something out there. But there's nothing there. Maybe just an animal or something? I don't know. Where beside me are you? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna continue on upstairs quiet. again. Quiet? Are you telling me to be quiet? actually switch over to night vision. Maybe I should go back to the other building. It's definitely more active. Here we're hearing a little bit of subtle noises. Nothing too crazy though. I 
That tiger, man, holy crap. That's crazy. Ah! Ow. What the? What the hell was that? This thing just... Okay. Okay, I don't like that. Ow. Are you kidding me right now? Something literally just hit me in my head. Mm. That hurt. What did that? Ow. It was weird. It was like from the side here. Okay, something just hit me in the head. What was that? Honestly, I'm kind of thinking of leaving. Follow us ahead. Okay, I think this is a trap. Something in here is not right. It's not as busy in this building, but it's like it quieted down. It's something something is trying to trick me. I don't I don't like this. Is there something evil here? Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave. If anything, I might come back. Not right away, but in like a week or so I don't know we'll see honestly guys I'm something is not right in here I am being targeted and uh, I think the right move for this one might be to just hightail it out of here so yeah yeah let's go let's get the hell out of here time to go